So when we're looking at the practical skill modules for the level one curriculum students, so we have two options, financial modeling is there and we have your Python over here. Now, firstly, you should be, my advice to you would be to do these modules only after your entire curriculum is complete, because even after the exam, you can attend these modules at home. So there is no problem. You have to do it before the results. I think right now you should focus on your exams and your curriculum first. These modules are not testable on the exam. They have nothing to do with the exam. Now, if you have time after completion of your syllabus, if you have time before the exam, my, I, uh, my preference would be to do financial modeling after completing portfolio, corporate finance and equity subjects. So basically you should be completing this module only after your entire curriculum has been completed. If you want to do Python, you should be doing Python after your one subject is complete. Then if you do Python, it will be better. Uh, not that you cannot do it with, uh, uh, you know, without completing quants or something, but that is a recommendation. Now, depending on your work profile, if you're already a working professional and you're very comfortable with financial modeling, because in 10, 12 hours or so, you will be only, uh, you know, you'll be able to complete only the basics. So if you're already in your work profile, you're using this and that may not add so much value to your work profile, then go ahead with the Python part. For the students, full-time students, uh, you should complete both the modules. You would have the time. So my recommendation would be to complete both the modules and learn and skill up. And uh, for somebody who's already in the data side of things and wants to learn Python and Python is not something that you're using right now and that could help you in your work profile, in that case, go for Python. But for full-time students, I would recommend both. For working professionals, if you have the time and if it aligns, then you choose a, model, a module that aligns with your work X and uh, uh, your future goals and your skills that are required in your um, job profile, in your work profile, in your day-to-day -day activities and accordingly you choose your module. But complete financial modeling ideally after equity, corporate finance and portfolio are done. Complete Python after quants is done, right? And other details about this uh, practical skills module was already covered when I talked about all the changes of uh, the CFA Institute. So you can go through that, right?